Okay, we're in Zara. <laughs> We've done about what an hour or two hour and a half well it's one o'clock and we've been here since half 11. what is that that's an hour and a half isn't it god that took too long to figure out and we've just stopped for a bite Cut. and mum's got a limonade and i've got water um my back is hurting because we're just standing still for so long there's so many gardens to explore but we've only got half an hour and we are parched so we've had to make the executive decision to just come for a snack and right. a drink um, instead. I don't really care, you can, half? whatever you think, yeah. This is meant to be bacon and cheese. It does look nice actually, I like that it's warmed up. Do you want the cheese a bit more? I don't mind. Yeah, that bit actually. <laughs> Thanks. Let me know what it's like. We also got some pastries from the breakfast that we might want. But the thing is, there was n nothing up in the cafeteria was anything other than bread. No. Everything was bread. Mm. No fruit, no mm -hmm. anything other than bread. So that was quite disappointing, but there we go. It does look nice though, is it good? Mm. Mm. Hmm. You having a good time? No. Why not? <laughs> well, did you sit there? Oh, no. no. We are basically going up the tower next to the cathedral, and mum is struggling. This is number 20. But how many are there? I don't know, hopefully not many more. 35 only. Oh, 35, okay. Oh. 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 oh dear. The thing is, I don't know if I showed you this. No, just come with me. So, there's not actually any steps, it's all just these slopes. I've got to sit down. Just okay. okay. Think this how one. proud you'll be if you do all of the steps. This is the sun. That's the sun, Mum. Don't want to sit in the sun. Anyway, as I was saying, these are no steps, they're just slopes up and down because they used to use the donkeys and the mules to come up here. And now I can't talk anymore because I'm out of breath. Nothing. What? Dead as a dodo, that is. <laughs> She's not got any signal got on her audio whatsoever. guide. Nothing. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing at you, I'm but it is kind of funny. So I've got no bloody chance. <laughs> this cathedral is beautiful. We've just come into this acai berry place. I can't remember what it's called. I think it's Sam... Samda? Sam? Oh, I don't know. We'll have a look on the way out. Oh, no, Sambo Acai. This is it. And we've got a mix coming. There's this fruit, which is called... Can you see it there? Kupa... Kupa Chu or something. Anyway, we tried it. It's delicious. So we're getting a mix of those two fruits. Acai and Kupu Chu, whatever that is. Um, even though we can't say it. And we've got some grapes and stuff on top and some Nutella. Mum's really excited, aren't you? So from someone that hates acai. Well, she doesn't hate it, you just don't think it's that great, do you? Mum. No. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, we were on the way to Zara. This is our pit stop for um, replenishment, which I'm excited about. Okay, here it is. I don't know why they put the Nutella in, in a questionable shape. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it'll be delicious nonetheless. And it's only tiny, which is good, isn't it? Getting a bit of kiwi. <laughs> Mum is just buying a magnet. She has gone for this one under my guidance. Thought that one was nice. And next door, I've noticed while I'm waiting that there's this thing. Um, Harry Potter. I just wanted to show you what house you would be in for Harry Potter by looking at your eye. I think you just put your eye in that machine and then it tells you. It's obviously a gimmick, but pretty cool. And then in here, if you look in, you can apparently see your iris or something. Then I have a look. Oh, look, that's my, I think that's my chest. It's like a bum. It's very cool, this lady's doing it. I'm gonna get mum to do it as well because it's, it's, it's so nice seeing your eye that up close and all the details of your eye that you would never normally see. You need to you need to look in look in here and then you'll see your iris. Can I see it like that? Your iris. Yeah, look in there with one eye. So one don't go sent you've got to go really close, Mum. And you can see all the details of your eye. 
That's gross. It's not gross, it's pretty. Everyone's eyes are different. We're just walking towards Zara at Mum's request. And um, apparently we're stopping at every shop on the way. Okay, we're in Zara. Come to Zara. Air conditioned, which we like. It's weird to look at gilets in this weather, isn't it? Who the hell is buying a gilet in here? It's like 35 degrees every day. You need your, what are you looking for? The button for three wasn't working. I had to get out of the lift in the <laughs> car. I got the stairs up to men's and mum was going to get a lift if it didn't work. <laughs> She's buying a perfume called Golden Decade in the mini version. Yes. I can't believe that. Oh, you can't see it, it's not focusing, but yeah. Yeah, that's quite funny. That's what you can't upstairs the thought, that's hilarious. What's gone wrong there? I can't wait to find out. This is like the scene from Love Actually when he wants to buy the necklace really quickly, <laughs> but the service is just so slow. <laughs> and he's like losing the will to live and decides not to buy it. <laughs> Are you going to decide not to buy it? No, I'm buying it. <sighs> Hi everyone, we're in the lobby of the hotel. It's the evening, ready for dinner. Tapas and Venko. I feel like it's tapas or just dinner. You're gonna have to hold it with both hands. I've got it. I've got this new dress on from ASOS. Can you pan down, Mum? Pan down. And it goes all the way to the floor. And you come up now. Yeah, I thought this dress was very applicable for flamenco and just spain in general really but i don't know why on one side it's got this like detail which i'd prefer it to have on both sides but it doesn't I so if, I, if i put that down obviously it's oh, just yeah. strapped which yeah. i don't really want to do so it's meant to be worn one up one down yeah it's meant to be worn like this obviously that's why i'm doing it so yeah i've got my hair straight again i've got a little clip Let's see um i'm i'm dressed like please pick me to come and do some flamenco <laughs> dancing I really am. I wanted to be on the vibe, but well, either way, I feel very Spanish looking today, yeah. and um, I'm very happy about it. I feel like I've fit the theme, and um, is he actually here? But he's not. You can see that he's not. Well, Mum gets so panicky and antsy about all of the Ubers. We all know how Ubers work, and he, she just acts like. It's gonna go away if you're not in the car within 10 seconds of arrival. Anyway, it's very warm outside. I feel like I was getting a cold in the room with the aircon, but now it's like stepping out to a hairdryer. So we'll see you at Flamenco. Can I get my good son? This is the plan. <laughs> this is not. It's basically a kind of couple of one who took some pictures for us. Um, I realised in the Uber that I have forgotten all of my lip products. So I don't have Too anything soon. less I'm going to have to borrow my mum's lipstick which is bright pink. It's true, not the vibe. And that's the colour I've got on there, I've got bright pink. Oh no, it's even worse, it's like <laughs> coral colour. <laughs> I haven't even got Vaseline to moisturise. Moisturise. <laughs> anyway, I'm absolutely starving. I hope they bring the food out so I can be sit down. <laughs> Okay, we've been given the driest bread you ever have seen in your life. No butter, no oil, nothing. Had to ask for salt and butter, but the butter is nowhere to be seen. We've got these anyway, they've just been given to us. That one's prawn, and that one is a big cod. Um, so, and then we've also been given some dry cherry. I don't really know why. And we've got to choose from all of these. Mum's happy, she loves sherry. I'm not the biggest fan. I would love a sangria more than anything else. Mum just, just got a breadcrumb under her nail, which is kind of irritating. I've got one of these chairs that does this. So annoying. Why do they do that? Why don't they just get some chairs that actually don't do that? And also some chairs that don't hurt my back. I know there's no ambient music, even though we're waiting for the flamenco to start. We don't mind that. I'm so annoyed I have to put my lip products on, I can tell you. I ordered a Tinto de Verano, which as we know is basically sangria but the local version so i've got that waiting for a straw mum's got white wine she's got a whole bottle to herself 
I've been talking to me, lovely stuff. We've been given our starters, which consists of chips, <laughs> fried eggs, and onion. I mean, that's <laughs> the chip was just having breakfast for dinner. It is a bit odd. Maybe it's like a Spanish thing, I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> My highlight of the evening was definitely watching you take a big sip of wine and then, <laughs> and then realising that it was water. <laughs> um, what else? What else, Mama? Anything to add? No. Other than that, I'm stuffed. I am so full of food. We're going to try and find that terrace. I don't know if we told you about this, but there was a. When we went to La Cetes last night. And we we Get saw the um, stage. well that's not what he it is, is it? Spanish dress on. Oh, well, it's a bloody. I can do that. You didn't anyway. have a Spanish dress on. You got a white dress on. I got a Spanish dress on. I thought I'd get you up. I mean, they didn't do that song, but anyway. Um, so we're going to a terrace bar. If you could stop with the hee hee just while I try and say one thing for the vlog, that would be great. So basically. We're going to walk to a terrace bar now. I can't remember what it's called, I'm but I did look it up. Stuffed. We're going to a terrace bar that I found, well, we saw it when we was at the top of that wooden architecture thing. Lesser Tass, I think that's how you say it. And we looked it up and we're going there now because it looks really nice, even though we're stuffed and don't want anything to drink. We just want the vibes. So we're going there for the vibes. The vibes are straightforward according to the maps. <laughs> We're at the terrace bar toilets and look at these funky mirrors. Very cool. And I feel like I want to say, mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of the wall? But yeah, it's a very cool bathroom. I like it, it reminds me of something in Ibiza. Mum's just applying her lipstick. Back to the mirror, who's the fairest of the wall? <laughs> oh, bless you. I don't know if it's going to be you after that display. <laughs> the toilets look really high up. Actually, you said that your feet didn't touch the ground on these toilets. Just realised it's probably very echoey in this part of the vlog. Let's go to the terrace. <laughs> <laughs> you know when it's when it locks and then you let you let it go back a bit and then you pull it. But every time we pull it back, it just went click click click, and you wouldn't come out at all. <laughs> and then we we couldn't stop laughing. And then the man in Uber released something for us to, to, to let us get in. But then, but then Mum still put it on too tight, and she couldn't loosen it. And it was so oh god! It probably doesn't even sound slightly funny, but we were obviously, as you saw, literally long wetting buses, ourselves. Long buses, aren't they? Long buses, long yeah. Buses. They've got that little like um, bit in the middle. What's it called? Like it looks like a that spongy bit. No, it looks like that. Um, what's that? Um, no, what's, <laughs> you know that instrument that's musical that goes like that. Oh. Um, what is, Accordion. Um, accordion. It looks like that in the middle. Yeah. Anyway, that was our funny five minutes on the way home from yeah. from Enco. I don't know. I've got room for a cup of tea. I know we're <laughs> so full up. It's un. Have we got? Have we got? Um. What? I can't think. 
Oh, what have we got? Tea and sugar? Yes, probably. I'm trying to make breakfast. My belly actually hurts because I'm so oh, full up. And then anything? we just laugh so hard. It's like I've done a massive meal and then like Sunday roast and then an ab workout, which, <laughs> I, would, which I would never <laughs> normally do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's the last day everyone, we're going home later today, it was the day after that hilarious Uber incident, um, and we are just around the pool, so I'd show you the pool area, I'm trying to show you without showing my mum, I'd be livid if I get anything more than these legs in it, as you can see, that is, can I show you, that's my mum, this is me, <laughs> um, but, yeah, I've been in that pool, it's really nice. Now, the sun is right up there, and it goes behind that building around this sort of time, which is about 20 to three every day. And then obviously it comes back out there. So you have to kind of move around a lot. That's the only thing with this hotel, but I'm sure I said it's called Hilton Garden Inn. Yeah, I just want to show you and tell you that because I would really recommend this hotel other than that. So as you can see over there, there's loads of sunbeds, but they're all in the shade. And when you first come down at about 11, 12 o'clock, well, depending on what time you come down, that's the time me and mum come down. But um, yeah, they're all in the sun and obviously now they're all in the shade, so you do have to move around, which is annoying and you can't really get away from it. But yeah, other than that, I would recommend the hotel a lot. Hello, we are in the cab again. But then our taxi driver told us not to walk around this area late at night because it quite, looks quite... What did he say? It's quite, he said it's quite dangerous yeah. or something. Yeah, yeah. Um, so anyway, we're just looking at the area. But yeah, we're checked out now and we are on our way into the centre. We could send her. Why did I say like that? I don't know. Got no makeup on other than lips, so I feel a bit, I feel a bit tired looking because I am. Um, it's okay because I've got my sunglasses to hide. In fact, putting my sunglasses on because I look tired, so I'm just gonna film like this, even though I look a bit blind now. They look humongous on my head. No way, they look really small. Anyway, what are you thinking? Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> That's so rude, isn't it? We're going to... Anyway, we're going to a restaurant called El Pinton. We have a Tinto at Pinton. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm dressed for a Pinto in my red, but um, no, I won't. Tinto. Not Pinto, Tinto. I thought that's what I just said. No, it's a Pinto. Oh, I'm turning to you, saying everything wrong. <laughs> you will turn into me eventually. It's oh. just going to happen, I'm afraid. That's why I need to move out. Um, but then I'll be sad and lonely. I don't want to be sad and lonely. It'll still happen. My arm's really hurting already. That's so bad. Anyway, we're going into the centre to have dinner and possibly some kind of acai fruit situation afterwards. I just wander oh, and just wander around the streets, look at the shops until it's time to come back yeah. for a transfer to the airport and go home, basically. Yeah. So we were around the pool today, as you saw earlier, and um, there was a German family there. They were there. They were <laughs> the annoying mum. They were there the other day as well, but obviously I didn't mention it then. Um, Anyway, there's a mum and a dad and then three children, two older boys and then a young girl. So the boy was about, I don't know, 13, 14 and his younger brother was maybe about a year or two younger. No, he was a year or two younger because oh, okay. then the daughter was definitely like nine or ten, oh, I would say. Okay. Anyway, the two boys were just play fighting around the pool like a pair of balls. So bolshy and just thrashing around in the pool that no one else could really go in. in the and the parents didn't really say anything, no. even though they saw them and was watching them. So I don't know why that is. Anyway, the daughter was on the edge of the pool, which was bit, like dipping her toes in. She was looking at them like, the face she was pulling was like, number one, like, what on earth are you doing? Like, <laughs> like they're a pair of, a pair of aliens. And if she's got no other siblings, it probably is weird to watch them like play fighting all the time. Because obviously girls don't really do that. Do you know what no. I mean? Anyway, her face just made me laugh and I felt a bit sorry for her, but anyway. And then the most shocking part of it all was that, as I looked over at the parents, the woman, the mum, I assume, was sitting on the sunbed with the dad, massaging his feet. No. Yeah. I was going to point out to you, but then I thought I'd, I'd leave for this great reveal now on the camera. Yeah, I didn't see that. And I just thought, wow, that is a level of love yeah. to, um, In public. Um, what's the word, aim for? To, to ascertain, <coughs> aspire to, yeah, I was going to say to ascertain, but that makes it sound like something else, really. Like, you want to, like an object. But anyway, so yeah, I was quite shocked at that. And I just thought, I can't think of anyone I know that would do that. No. Maybe they would and I wouldn't realise it, but I can't think of anyone that I would confidently say, yeah, that couple I know, they would be like that. No. I just can't. No, me neither. <laughs> I just can't. And he didn't look like, wow, this is lucky for me. He looked like he was used to it. Yeah. So I just thought, wow. If he'd have been doing it to her, then that's acceptable. Yeah. <laughs> Ace acceptable? Yeah. Do you mean acceptable? Acceptable. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> how tired I are you? Today. 
We actually haven't eaten anything. What is the time? It's it's like five o'clock, ten past five, and we haven't eaten anything. anything no, we haven't but eaten I'm anything. Not overly I'm British. hungry, yeah, but I'm not like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna faint. But I think it's because yeah. we've eaten so much more food over this holiday than we normally would yeah. on an average day. I think when you're abroad as well, you just don't want to eat as much because you're so hot. Well, that completely disproves the point I literally just said oh. that we've been eating more food than usual. I haven't. Well. Oh, to be fair, when we think about some of the things we've been eating, a lot of the days I'm thinking, it's not that much, but I think I'm feeling more full up because it's hot. I don't know. Because my appetite normally goes a lot when it's this hot, but mm -hmm. it's been, I've been eating even when I'm not hungry because I've been doing things well, centered around food. food yesterday, we couldn't eat that. What food? That flamenco show. Oh my gosh, I didn't even, I don't know if I said this, but I didn't even barely touch my main meal because of that random egg, egg and chip egg and starter. And chips. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to go over that. We should have got the salad. Yeah, we looked at the salad starter that? that a couple next to us had and it looked a lot more I felt like I was in some cafe back in the UK. Yeah, I mean the chips it, were nice, but yeah. I don't really want chips as a starter. Especially when I, too do you know what's annoying? I wish I'd not had any starter just had the main because yeah, that meat I that I did try the main was delicious and it, it was, was truffle mash. Yeah. And I ate literally hardly any of it, about two yeah. mouthfuls because I was so full up. And I had one teeny tiny teaspoon of my dessert, which was actually Plus, pretty rank. got them compliment Clarice. Yeah, we had these appetizers that came in. They were quite filling in Yeah, it was, we had about four croquette Three style inch. things, didn't we, whatever mm. they were. But yeah, anyway, we're waffling on now. I've actually been talking for nearly six minutes. That's quite shocking. Yeah. So we'll see you at you probably El Pinton. Died or fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully not. If you're still there, see you in the next clip. Okay, we're at the restaurant. It's really nice. We've come and sat in this bit, even though out there is nice too. I'll show you later, but... Um, lovely mum's by the window very nice vibes in here i've really fucked up here guys look at the distortion of this cup anyway i ordered tomato soup and it's come like this and i looked it up and it's, and it's called yeah so it's called gazpacho or something and that is basically a, a soup um pot like from andalusia like this part of spain and yeah i didn't realize it was cold and i didn't don't know why would you put soup in a cup anyway like that just doesn't make sense i can't remember how much it is but it came with celery in it and a tomato <laughs> and also i hate bloody mary's just to give you any kind of reference for like how much this is even worse for me it's not good yeah it's very salty actually you might like it you don't have to drink out the same bit as me oh okay really salty actually in the microwave. I can't, I can't even, I don't like it. Okay, so these are the cod fritters we've ordered. They look really nice to be fair. Mm. That's mum's chicken Mediterranean salad. And she's got some roasted soup potato with lots of salt, so I bet you're happy about that. Just waiting to see if I can swap that drink that she's taken for something else because obviously I don't like it. And then I probably will order something else anyway if I have to because what else can I do? I actually forgot I'd already ordered the prawn and apple salad, so I'm pleased that's arrived. Um, I wonder what these are. Well, either way, I'm very pleased. Okay, so this is the inside of the restaurant. Obviously, it looks really nice, but I still would not recommend going because of the food, which I know is a bit of an awkward thing to say when I'm still in there, but I promise you no one was close enough to hear. <laughs> Coming to this lovely shop literally just opposite the restaurant. That's the restaurant right there. So, literally just over the road. And mum is obsessed with everything in this shop. <laughs> Anything you like? She did look at her dress a minute ago. It was 400 euros. I think it was this one. So yeah, she wants to depart. I mean, that is a nice dress, but I wouldn't pay 400 euros for it. I'm sure it's worth every penny. We're going to the acai bowl place now. I'm going to have my own bowl. Yeah, mum's obsessed as much as I am. Even though the first time you had it on the plane, I had a Joe and the Juice one, which I'd never had before. She didn't like the one on the plane for Joe and the Juice, and now she likes the ones from here, so. We're making our way, 80 yards to go. Mum's got her own because she loves it that much, even though she complained originally. Both got Nutella, again, questionably shaped, but you know. We're home shopping now. Mum likes everything in the shop. Here's the rabbit down there. What is it you liked over here? This thing. But what is the purpose? We also love these candles. There's one that's called Amber and it smells really good, but there's no price on the big one. So... I'm not sure what we're doing about that. To be honest with you, I don't think I should be trusted near this many breakables. Oh, silverware. What are you looking at? Well, I want some, some 
one little dish to put my, my Morven salt in a pot. And Morven? Like, don't mean Malden? Malden. Like these, but I don't know how much they are. No. You probably have to ask because there's a label, but no price. Do you really like them that much though? I do. Oh. What about this greeny one, four euro? I don't know. Or has it got to go in the kitchen? The green might go. And it's only four euros. And yeah. it's the only one there. Last one left on the shelf. Yeah. Must be popular. Popular. It's a good little shape actually. Look at these little Amy, things. because I've got... Green is an earth colour, so it goes with anything, doesn't it? Green. True. That is a fact. Is that. it a fact? Thank I don't you, know. Amy. You're welcome. I've got these, I've got deep enough. Mm. Yeah. No, I know what you mean. You like a lot of salt. Like, do not rush. Well, I might not be rushing you, but the plane will be if you don't hurry up or if you don't get oh, back to the hotel right. for the transfer. Oh, how cute that is. What? Oh, I like these mirrored doors. Yeah. I like the mirrored doors. Yeah. We're in another furniture shop yeah. now. We actually like this sofa, but Mum said it was a bit hard and a bit firm for her liking. Do you want a rhino for an artifact in the... I mean ornament, not artifact. Nice. See, the one I've got is soft here, but firm here, like this one. Yeah. That one would be good for your back as well, because it's I quite know. far forward. I never thought I'd be sofa shopping in Seville, if you have to say. <laughs> We were sofa shopping in the UK, but we've taken it to a next new level. next level, next length. Yeah. I do like the smell in this shop, I have to say. Yeah. Really, yeah. really nice. Ooh. That was not me, thank that goodness. No, this is a little bit like the colour of the sofa you've picked, isn't it? The what? This is a little bit like the colour of the sofa that you've picked. Yes. This is more like greeny bluey, but yours is more like greeny. Olivey. Yeah. Yeah. But still. I'm so happy I got that colour. Oh my gosh. What? The vase. That's like me. I've got red toenails right now. <laughs> See? Oh, this is nice, Amy. Yeah. It's nice. I like that actually. You've got your remote control here. Um, the time is quarter to eight. That's a nice mirror. In the yeah. evening. Huh? It's a nice mirror, isn't it? For what though? I don't know, just a nice just mirror. Just plain. Oh, it's just plain nice. though. Do you think you'd ever get a globe? No. Like this? Because I know where it is. <laughs> That's not a Yeah, but it's just like a nice ornament to have, isn't it? It's the kind of ornament you have if you're very... Globe. It's a kind of... Them up and they've got drinks. It's a drink yes, thing. but I feel like having a globe is an ornament for a person My of hair. intellect, like, like me. Are you brave enough to let me see your peacock? Comment below if you know that song by Katy Perry. What's the time, Amy? I already told you, it's quarter to eight. My twenties, Amy. I just want to show you what I used to wear when I was younger and leaner. Is this going to gross me out? Because we are standing in front of an underwear shop right now. Yeah. Yeah. I used to wear that all the time. Oh, I like more like just the plain negligee. Well, it's not plain, is it? But like a one piece, a one piece situation. Really? Yeah. Interesting. People do kind of wear nice things like that out now, though. Even now we go up to this side. Oh. Is that going to be what you want on YouTube? Okay. Oh, I like those red pajamas for Christmas. Very nice. Silky. There's another underwear shop here. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. It's Ali Hop, whatever that is. Got a big cow in there. Are we going to go in, though? It looks like not really anything we want to buy in there. It's getting quite busy here. This here is where we came for our the beginning of our tour when we went to the Royal Alcazar and the Cathedral. That's where it started. Well, no, we could, but the, there was interference on the audio guide thing. It was going in and out. Holly used to do these um, these penny things literally all the time wherever we went. She would always do one when we were little. Do you remember that, Mum? When Holly would always do those pennies everywhere that they had them. No, it's much oh, yeah. Put a penny in and then it like, flattens it and puts the name of where you are. Oh, an art gallery. Should we go in the art gallery? I like that one at the back. With the eyes, that lady, that's really nice. Very massive hat. Oh, it smells a bit sewagey around here. Oh, what's happened? <laughs> smell of vision. Smell Oh, God. That is so lovely. This is like if a five year old was going to get married. 
Mm, probably. You're not going to go in and ask how much it is, are you? Oh my gosh, she is. What on earth? Oh no, it's fine. Ooh.